Hello there, this is John here. You probably didn't know me, but that is not important. Today we'll be learning how to motion track a video and how to make a moving texture from your footage. Everything done in Blender and for free. I won't explain everything in detail in this video, but you can find plenty of other tutorials that last for 2 or 3 hours. So we'll go fast and straight to the point here. So first of all, open a motion tracking workspace. If you don't have one, then import in your footage. Once you're done, press set scene frames and prefetch, and set the colors to standard and match the keyframes. This is something that I always do before starting the actual tracking. Choose a camera motion that makes sense and click normalize, then you're ready to detect features. But, as you can see, in this case we need more trackers, so bring the threshold and the distance down until you get more of them. Now you can press Ctrl T and track them forward, it's just easy as that. If you lose too many of them, detect more features, then press A to select all of them and track forward. You can also track backwards with Ctrl Shift T. Once you have enough trackers, go to the solve panel and detect some frames that show the perspective change in your video. Refine some of the things that you think are necessary, just experiment a little with the footage. Once you're done, you can solve the camera motion. You will probably get a high solve error, which means your object won't be precisely located in 3D space, that's why we filter and clean the tracks. Do this gradually, first filter the tracks, then make sure the threshold doesn't detect all of them. If that's the case, you can bring the threshold up a bit and then press delete. Then clean tracks and remember to do this gradually again, because the tracks will refresh after each camera solving you do. Once you get an average pixel error that is around 0.2, you're good to go, so just experiment with it a little until you get the results that you want. Now select 3 trackers and make them the floor, then select an origin point and set everything as background. If everything is looking good, you can create a new plane and add a new material. Remember to always turn the base color to black and the specular down, then select an image in the emission shader. Add in your footage and set the frame is to be more than the footage. Now you can add an UV project modifier and some geometry to your object until it starts looking quite good. A simple sub-D modifier should do the job. Then scale the aspect of the UV project until it fits perfectly. If everything is looking good, you can start making the trapdoor. Just add a plane where you want the texture to be and add a new material. Before that, just render one frame of the video. That is going to be the texture that will bake on the plane. Just follow along and you'll see. Add a new image texture with the rendered image and some texture coordinates and set this to window. But if you move this, you'll see it doesn't stay in the same place, so we'll have to bake the texture on the new image. Make sure the plane and the new textures are selected, then in render properties, in cycles, hit bake. Once it's done, plug the new texture in the base color and that's it. You can match the colors with some color curves if necessary. Now animate a trapdoor and add in your 3D objects to your scene. You might stumble across some problems while doing this, render is weird sometimes, so if you need any help, feel free to join our Discord group, we'll be there to help you anytime. Also consider subscribing and leaving a like for more videos like this. Hope you have a good day and thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Then I go into the hallway and I see this? What the fuck is this? This is not mine. Man, this looks weird as fuck. <gasps>